Cheers. Cheers. Welcome, Welcome to, to Movie, Movie Bitches. Bitches. RuPaul's Drag Race UK Season 2 Finale. Woo. The grand finale. <laughs> April, what's... There's like a weird shadow next to you. What is that? What is that? Oh no, I'm kind of scared. Wait a sec. I know that shit. You went anywhere. Why is oh. it also it is? <laughs> I know that shit. You went anywhere? No, I'm only having a small drink. I'm uh, I'm watching my figure for my new boyfriend. Oh, a new boyfriend. New boyfriend. What's his name, Jam? His name is George. <laughs> Georgia. Tropicana. Is he Cuban? Oh. What a nice name. Is he Cuban? I did want to buy like a big like jester hat or something like British. I was oh. going to buy a royal thing, but that kind of fucked over. So we're just left with a hat that says London. Hey, you know. Oh, lovely. That's on brand. And if we bring it to the front. England. London, England. Oh, London, wow. London, England. London, England. Well, it's a pleasure to have you back, Lee, and your magical disappearing thighs. Yeah. Oh my God, thank you. <laughs> thank you so much, honestly. I'm uh, really glad to be back. You know, it's been uh, really busy this season, but I'm glad to have joined you for the finale. I'm only sorry I couldn't have joined you for EastEnders, the... Uh, oh boy. You what? You what? I think you, you mean what, EastEnders. Beast! Did, did the whole, like, Ricky thing just, like, fly over your head? The, uh, not, I think all of it flew over. <laughs> I, I thoroughly enjoyed it. I enjoyed it, no yeah. idea. But first things first. Oh right. <laughs> Shout out to our wine sponsor wink. Go to oh I'm like literally high Lee's crotch right there. Oh. <laughs> I've got one of the uh, season 13 on. contestants, Rose. Oh, there you go. Mm. Oh my God. Go to trywink.com slash movie bitches. You get $22 off your first month of wine. Second thing, second, shout out to our Patreon supporters. $5 a month because you early access. $10, I don't know. Oh, I don't know where we are. We might be over your face. $10 gets you access to our viewing parties. Uh, we appreciate all of your support. It's been a great season. Like I said, we have like 87,000 more episodes of season 13 for viewing parties. So, you know, yeah. don't cancel. No, don't cancel right away. Yeah. There's plenty more to yell about. Oh, I no. know she's from the Bronx, but tonight oh, no. she like she's from Bushwick. <laughs> oh, no. This makeup's awful, though, right? Because my alien Judy got hurt. So we're looking for some help. We have the same makeup on, the same costume. This is colors. horrible. Third thing's third. Make sure to subscribe. Share whole. Follow us on Instagram and Twitter. Follow Lee on Instagram and Twitter and Daily Motion and YouTube uh, and no, I don't BBC know. Three. Got, yeah, yeah, I guess. Yeah. I've, I mean, I've, I've got my Twitter back, so that's uh, enough to celebrate about. <laughs> oh, good. Yay. We'll put it all in the show notes. It'll be great. Ooh, the show the notes? Is that what we call the them? Tea, tea <laughs> coffee <laughs> typing. <laughs> she, she is our uh, typist, you know. Also, speaking of, of Lee and everything that he's got, I mean, you, you've made it to the big time. BBC is, it's official. Your gig is official now. It's very exciting. I'm just glad they asked me back for a second year, but I'm, I'm just winging it. It's just, uh, it's just fun to do. And uh, yeah, a lot of fun. But yeah, so but the episode starts and we get a little yeah. video package of everybody you know, I'm awesome for this reason. The only right. thing I wrote down was that Taste had to explain the steam the steam coming out of her nose. That was all. I it. love that. That was steam. That was steam. <laughs> coming, out of, coming out of my nose. That's steam coming out of my nose, by the way. Because I'm going to win! <laughs> I'm going to go ahead and say it. I still maintain that this is the Taste show. Oh, yes. I mean... Towards the end, absolutely. She was dominating all the confessionals. She's just so likable, like... Just no one yeah. has a bad thing to say about her, and she's just right? bringing it. Well, I think Vinegar Strokes might have a <laughs> bad thing to say about her. Oh, I didn't see <laughs> But we that. don't need to get into that. Vinegar Strokes was, like, on some live chat or whatever, being like, okay. oh, well, you know, she didn't elevate her drag from, like, the brunches and the, the five-minute gigs that we were doing. I've seen all of these looks before, and they were whatever. Vinegar and Strokes she... was Ooh. reading Tace's outfits. Okay. I'm just clarifying <laughs> that's what was happening. Okay. 
But also, yeah. uh, Michelle had a lot of not so great things to say about. We will. Uh, we'll get yeah. there. I'm. Anyway, I am I'm, shocked that you did well, nice. person who's in the no, top four. No, I have so much to say about that. Every critique of Taste this season has started with, you know, I thought you were going to do horrible at this. I <laughs> thought you were going to bomb. I thought you were going to be terrible. But you were okay. And it's like. Why have we started what? our critique like this? Like, have, why right? is she on a different level than everyone else? It's very strange. Well, and when they were very like, strange. well, you know, a lot of your critiques have been about how bad your outfits are. And I was like, have they? I mean, some of them have, have been misses, but on a whole, was that the storyline we were told? No. This is how I would expect Taste to come out in the final. Is it the most elevated thing I've ever seen? No, but it's who you are. Yeah. Oh, well, I mean, this is exactly what I would expect you to wear, but it's not elevated. Okay. <laughs> right? Um, there were some weird critiques this season. <laughs> Very yes. strange. We can't deny that Taste is a lip sync serial killer. She coined the phrase. I love it. <laughs> I'm a lip sync serial killer, darling. She put up a very, very good fight. There was blood on that runway, darling, and I lapped it up. I'm going to go ahead and say, for me, I think she had five wins. I mean, Taste kind of won this episode. Uh, she has right. lip synced fifty percent of the season. That's like, if we really put it out that's there, true, she's right? done fifty percent of these lip syncs. <laughs> so everybody is de dragging, taking off. They all have pantaloons because they were um, panto. Oh, panto and pantaloons. Pan panto pantaloon. Huh. Eric the Red in Greenland. Look Eric at you. the Red you gotta, discovering you're building, Greenland. You're building a comedy set before our I'm eyes. I'm loving this wordplay. It's brilliant. <laughs> We get to see Ellie's ass out. It was interesting because it looked oh, yeah. like um, her stockings a had a thong, but then it was like chaps <laughs> or something. I couldn't quite decipher what was going on. A lot of layers of, of, of stocking, thonging, chapping, garter belting. I did notice the editors really uh, taking advantage of the fact that three of them were in one corner of the room when Ellie was in another. They were like, let's use this shot quick. Top three, was... Ellie in the corner. <laughs> she was like, carrying a room divider buff and then suddenly was like oh i i have to go oh, say hello there's a hug i got to say it i think the highlight of this episode for me was taste's workroom look oh my god this monster mash motorcycle jacket oh with the big mouth yeah. on yeah. the back and the i was obsessed with it so good <laughs> Tace has brought the workroom looks the entire season, and I really appreciate it. I also love she had this like dragony green like motorcycle jacket, slithery snake, loved it. And then she had a different look for the choreography. Her spidey, workout that was her still spidey fabulous. web onesie with the blue wig. <laughs> yeah. I appreciate contestants who think about the looks like boy and girl looks. They think about all yeah. of that. I appreciate that. You're yeah. gonna be on TV. This is forever, you know? Oh. Have you two had beans on toast? No. I have not. You two need to try it. I mean, I guess you don't have baked beans though, do you? It's not really a thing. Yeah. Like We have different kind of baked beans, I think. It's a different flavor, right. I think. You don't have Heinz. I think that's the secret recipe. Heinz baked beans. Well, we do have Heinz. I think oh, it's an American company, but I do think it's different. Like our baked beans kind of have more of like a molasses i mean i don't know i've never had british baked beans so i don't know taste hype them up for a reason it's a it's a quality <laughs> meal the beans the butter the bread the sauce <laughs> oh no i mean you can include that part if you want jesus we absolutely <laughs> will absolutely what was that weird movie we saw at sundance with kate blanchett where she gave monologues and one of them was her just making beans on toast for like 10 minutes what was that manifesto manifesto Wow. Yeah. It was like performance art that was billed as a movie, but it's basically just Kate Blanchett in this weird, like, I think it was like a abandoned Ukrainian, like, power plant or something. It looks like and the end of Justice League, it's just, you know, like there's a big old yes. <laughs> cavernous apartment complex. And she's just wandering around this, like, you know, burnt out building, giving different, different manifestos um, from... Throughout time, but also in different characters. Yeah. It was a thing. It's, it's something you're only going to see at Sundance. Bitch! Takes his beans! Oh! Just, uh, uh, beans! And she's like, ketchup! They should sell a special version like they did of um, Shea Kool-Ale, you know, the beer. 
honestly. Chromatic Oreos, chromatic Oreos, and and <laughs> taste you know. beans. Did they, did they do beans. that? They made Chromatica Oreos. Yeah. Oh, April. I'm. <laughs> It was a big thing. Oh, okay, that great. pink on the outside, then like green filling, but the green food coloring is like banned. Yeah, exactly. That it's yeah. banned here, so we just have normal color Oreos, but the same packaging. It's very, it's 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 a moment. Wait, so but... it was just the packaging you were buying, and then it was just like, and here's Oreos. <laughs> I've got it. Let me show you. Oh, oh that's uh -oh. great. It's isn't all it? green. Oh, there, oh, we, there go. we go. Oh my oh, god. Oh. Yeah. <laughs> Lady Gaga Oreos. Do you know what's sad is that I've kept this packaging, so I don't know what that tells you, but hey, exactly you know. the same Oreos, just just pink wrapping. Oreo is asking for an applause. They're hoping their new flavor will make you just dance. Lady Gaga and Oreo teaming up to make a special line of cookies inspired by her most recent album, Chromatica. There you see the video of her making the announcement while laying in bed. I guess she's rusting. But RuPaul walks in and the maxi challenge is right averse to not all you need is love. What's her song? What is it? A little bit of love. I just watched it. A little it. bit of love. Can you yeah. feel the love? Oh, a little bit of love. Can you feel little the love? Bit of love. <laughs> well, that's well, how it goes. Can you she feel the, the love? love? Do, do, do. Oh, yeah, in between, yeah. yeah. Which, I just by went way, to an Elton we, John place. We can yeah. talk about it, but oh, that was very poorly mixed. Oh, yeah, we will talk about it. I was like, wait a second. And then I saw everyone else on Twitter after you know, like I'd watched. Then I was like, okay, now I can go on Twitter again. And everyone was like, wait a second. Was it my copy? No, it wasn't. <laughs> it was everyone. Neither of you got spoiled, did you? Nope. No. I mean, oh, I, I, I saw the writing on the wall about, I don't know, 10 episodes ago. But, uh, <laughs> but no, I was not spoiled. I mean. I think April called it episode one, but yes. Like, oh, yes. Listen, it's no mystery or secret how much I enjoy Lawrence Cheney. I was still blindsided. I was expecting it. We can talk about it. We can talk about it. We'll, we'll get, get there. there. We will talk about it. But yes. But yes. Rue, no more wigs. She must, Her scars must, must have healed. Yes, no surgery that day. No, maybe she got some arnica on there, you know, it healed it up quick. I wish she had just leaned in and been like, you know what? You're not the only ones that got work done during quarantine. <laughs> But yes, so Rue announces that they have to write their own lyrics for a verse for, it's not Can You Feel the Love, what's it called? A Little Bit of Love. A Little, little bit, of love. bit of Love, yeah. Cool. And <laughs> they have to choreograph, the fabulous choreographer is back. I was bummed that MNK wasn't back, but I what are you know. Yeah, I think we could have really benefited from MNK, yes, this episode. I agree. Was it All Stars last year when like the finale, track was really slow right oh um, i think it was two ago anyway that yeah. one was slow it'll, down it'll this felt this felt like it was at one and a half where it was like oh no 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 <laughs> anyway yes they all have to write down lyrics and um lord's telling telling ellie well it's a bitch track but it doesn't mean you have to be a bitch <laughs> i think for a song called a little bit of love it's maybe not the best route to say everyone involved in this is shit I think that was good advice. It's I mean, true. It didn't it's a matter. Uplifting track. You guys, it didn't. No, matter. it didn't really. She was it didn't matter fourth. when we can't like, hear the words anyway. <laughs> to be honest. Also, she was gonna be fourth. Like, why keep her around if you're just gonna be like the three of you were in the top? Like, that was ridiculous to me. So rude. I was just like, why did we do this then? What are we doing? What are we doing? Also, for me, this was where I mean, we're not there yet. We'll talk about it. We'll talk about it. We'll talk about it. We'll get there. We'll get there. Can we talk about Bimini's lyric? These days are gonna pass. Raise a glass and shake your ass. I mean, yes, poetry. Loved it. That was a little. Poetry. That is a, a cheers. A COVID anthem, if I've ever heard one. We'll never COVID know if mantra. it made the edit of the song because we'll never know what the lyrics are of the song, and that's fine. Watch the queen conquer. Lord of the tracks you speak, and you will prosper. It was somewhere. It was somewhere in there. Hmm. I'm and sure. And that's fine. I want that on a shirt. Oh yeah, she should make that her as a little shirt. haiku. Bimini's little cheers haiku. Yes. That would be fab. I mean, I'm sure there's, there's plenty of merch to come, I'm sure. So, quick commercial break, and we will be right back with more drag queens. <laughs> oh, and they have to have a Tic Tac. It wasn't a podcast, though. No. It was just, just a, a Tic Tac lunch? lunch. A socially distant sit down, yeah. Was Rue, like, asleep during Tases, by the way? Rue was just dead behind the eyes. Michelle's like, oh, that's fun. You're from Wales. Where's that? And Rue's just like, 
<laughs> not having it. Not having it. I was so confused. So confused. And I thought Tace gave really great answers. Especially Tace's story was not one of woe is me. Not that that's, you know, like, those are very real stories. But I loved hearing Tace's story of, like, yeah. I don't have a bunch of emotional scars and wounds from childhood that you can mine. I'm a kind of well-rounded, <laughs> happy person. That's fine. Yeah. That's okay. That's probably yes. why Ruth switched off. It's probably why she switched off. Oh, yeah. Off. She was like, like, oh. I can't mm, find any care. emotional trauma. Mm, yeah. Off. Not yeah. interested. Kind of burying the lead, Tace is like, oh, yeah, by the way, my dad's the basis for Wham. I was like, <laughs> what? What? Yeah. And Rue was like, <laughs> Cool. She, like, didn't give a shit. I was so confused. My dad used to be in Wham, um, in the ba playing the bass guitar in Wham. And really? Wait, Wham? Really? George Michael from Wham? Surely you jest. Not the front man for Wham. Surely you jest. Rue was, like, snoozing, right? And then suddenly, oh, my dad was the bassist from Wham. And then suddenly Rue was like, oh, are your parents still together? It was so obvious. It really... Was it not just like completely Son obvious? of a music star? Is there potential, you know, emotional trauma there? Or how's your relationship with your father? Is it strange because no, he's gone on the road all the time? Just, oh, no, it's he's fine. Great. Oh, okay. He's really cool. Oh. oh, okay. I've just always been so blessed and privileged because I know I have so many friends who have literally been kicked out because they're gay. So that's something that I really take seriously. and I'm so proud of. She just doesn't have the emotional depth of the others. Fuck you guys. Yeah, right? What the fuck was that? I was just like, fuck you. This is bullshit. Yeah. A really funny part of Tace's uh, interview with Rue was, uh, we have some Tic Tacs here if you want. Well, I just had a big gulp of air five minutes ago. <laughs> a big gulp of air. She's so quick. So fun. Just like, you know, I, know. I don't even know what I'm saying. Sometimes it just comes out, right? <laughs> I'm going to burn down that mulberry bush. But at the end of the day, I need to burn this mulberry bush and you're all going down with it because i got to win. So back up. I don't know what comes out of my mouth. I don't know where this shit comes from. So next is Ellie Diamond's Tic Tac lunch and she comes in. Oh, where's this jacket? Oh my God, it's so cute. Oh my God. No mention of Tace's motorcycle outfit. A fabulous I'm just, outfit, whatever. It doesn't I'm just saying it was like night and day. Look Hi, at that Ellie. jacket. That's do you like cute. it? I do, I What's love it. What's the back it. say? Oh, E Diamond. Oh my goodness, 21 years old. Oh my God, you're so young. You're only 21. Where do you find the energy to keep going? You just answered your, she's 21. What are we talking about? What's going on, Ruth? She's 21, what do you think? Huh? I think yeah. Rue is just trying to figure out which one is the best to, to suck the soul, the life force out of via <laughs> all tea coffee, right? Like, mm, your body Ooh. is just so lithe and tall and skinny. And, you have so mm, much collagen just, in your, just yeah, naturally occurring I, in your body. You could wear anything, bitch. You. <laughs> Very that. Yes, so Ellie talks about um, growing up in... Dundee, it was just sweet. She got choked up talking about her mom again, which was really nice. I yeah. thought that was a nice moment. Rue was like delighted with her, like, what was that choreography? She was like, oh, that's the Ellie movie. The Ellie Diamond eight count, yeah. Eight right. Count. Two, yes. three, yes. four, five, six, seven, eight. <laughs> Locally within Dundee. I don't remember what she did, but Rue was very excited by that. <laughs> and then in, in Glasgow. Ellie Diamond eight count. <laughs> Like she was like losing her mind. One, two, ten, four, five, six, seven, eight. Honestly, been playing in looks from the minute I sashayed out my mum's foof. Like honestly, <laughs> like <laughs> these whole conversations were were kind of weird to me. There was a lot of like, well, we're just trying to help you become better drag queens, and I'm like, girl, we're at the finale. What we're trying to do is help you be a better version of you, mm -hmm. so your career can last, yeah. and that's what it's about. Like, what are we talking about? Why are we still? We know, we know what the show is about. What are we? But There's anyway. an afternoon left of filming yet. Like, what left can you do? But then later, when she was like, Ellie came in perfect. She just looks great, and she didn't need any critiques, and she was just great. And then Graham and Alan being like, I mean, that was kind of boring. What? <laughs> right? I'm so mad at I you was guys. <laughs> I was glad that they said something. It's all... Perfect. Why is that bad, Graham? Well, because there's a sort of sweetness to her that never alters. I just wish you'd take more of a chance. Lawrence Cheney. Cheney! <laughs> I mean, you could tell, obviously, Rue is obsessed. Obsessed. Yeah. Active listening. Hmm? <laughs> well, and, and I, I really like Lawrence, but because yes, it was yes, just absolutely. so telegraphed, I was, it was like, oh, and then she won. Mm-hmm. 
okay. He like, was, Lawrence didn't well, do great in the challenges she was supposed to, but we love her because she's Lawrence. Okay, we're just, you know what I mean? There's then just, why are we doing any of this? Why are we doing why any are we of this? Having, <laughs> Yeah. My goodness, you're just a baby. Yeah. A baby with a huge, like, massive hairline. Yeah. <laughs> You've got a lot of thick hair there. Yeah. Oh my God, your hair is so thick. And let's talk about your hair. And I felt a little awkward about that part. Yeah. Michelle a calling bit. it out. I was like, oh. It was something weird. Like, you're so young to have so much hair. Again, I was like, is that not a mark of youth i'm so confused right my mom sewed me costumes when i was like four and it would start with you know a magician's cape you know <laughs> it always grim... starts with a magician's cape yeah. that was fun. always starts yeah. with a magician's cape yeah that was good Just, you can swish it and <laughs> feel your you feel your oats no better way to feel your oats than with a cape Next to the lunch, Bimini Bum Bimini Bum Boulash, who I just love. Bimini Bum Boulash. Bimini Bum Boulash from RuPaul Drag Race UK Season 2. Is there any explanation necessary? She's just. Oh, I, I don't know what it is about Bimini. It's just obviously so warmly received. And after lockdown, it was just such a positive trajectory, especially compared to the first half, which they, they um, themselves mean... have said, like. For the first four, they was they said they admitted that they weren't quite in the competition and they felt like not really comfortable in their own skin. So it was interesting to hear that it wasn't just our perception; it was actually Bimini was in their head right. during those first four. So but I do think they were harder on Bimini than they needed to be in the beginning. I don't think they saw Bimini coming for one second. By the way, no, no. I don't think I saw myself coming <laughs> really, but. Everyone loves a grower, not a shower. So. Yeah, that's true. That is true. Because there was this whole thing, right? Bimini says, oh, well, I had four badges out of the five episodes after we came back, right? Like, basically, I've won every episode since we've been back because I'm fabulous mm -hmm. and everything. But I feel like I had said multiple, there were episodes before where I was like, I would have put Bimini in the top. I would have given Bimini the win. That was, for me, the narrative this episode was a lot of like, oh, well, Bimini wasn't very good in the beginning, but after COVID, she was great. Whereas Lawrence or whereas everyone else, Ellie was perfect the entire time. So Bimini shouldn't win because she improved. I, it was a confusing narrative for me. I mean, that's what was so weird to me was that like there was this whole story of, oh, growth and, and you know, a slow start and then a, a really great crescendo. And normally you would think that that would be like, great, Bimini, congratulations. You are the winner of RuPaul's Drag Race UK. Not the narrative. All signs were like pointing to a Bim win. Like there's no yeah. denying what, like the trajectory, the challenge wins, like the performances in the lip sync, even on the final number, like I think Lawrence was missing set. I mean, we'll never know because the, the music was so out. She could have been in sync. With, with, sure. I don't know. Well, but everyone else wasn't. Right. Yeah, exactly, yes. exactly. <laughs> it was a surprise to a lot of us, I think, uh, that Lawrence won, but apparently not to April. Yeah, she saw it coming. Oh my God, he's like Nostradamus. I guess I'm <laughs> cynical. I don't know. <laughs> no, I mean you saw it coming. I um, I fully bought into the post lockdown like trajectory edit of. I was like, okay, well, I guess it's sealed then. You know. You know, it's interesting. I mean, well, first of all, it's Rue's decision to make you know, Ruth says That's every true. time. Weeks ago, I, I mentioned that I'm surprised you've been such a racehorse. It just was confusing to me. It was mental gymnastics of like, well, so you want her to not improve and stay the same, or you want her to improve, no, but that's never going to be good No, they wanted to give the enough. crown to Lawrence, Andrew. Andrew, they wanted, they wanted <laughs> well, to give the crown to Lawrence, so they, so they did. That's what happened. What's impressive, though, is Bim's uh, wardrobe didn't change like pre and post lockdown, like taste added rhinestones to stuff and everything that Bims was apparently the same pre and post. Interesting. So that's interesting. So that's yeah. even more frustrating. Then. Yeah. Mm -hmm. <laughs> We're going to have to get the investigative journalism in on this. I did love this story yeah, of like, well, I went to school to be a journalist. And then I said, mom, going to be a drag queen. <laughs> she probably discovered all the things she can do with a chair. And she was like, I can't be a journalist. Someone do a death drop or something. Yoga, meditation, and Oprah. Do you have a spiritual practice? I do. I do a lot of yoga, meditation, and Oprah. <laughs> Oprah. This is my wife, Oprah. Oprah. Oh, yeah, we didn't talk about the whole fat bastard thing. Speaking of Austin Powers. Oh, yeah, with Lawrence. Allow myself to introduce myself. My name is Richie Cunningham, and this is my wife, Oprah. They were like, so, 
What's it like to be from Scotland? Okay. Let's talk about Scotland. Yeah. How is being from Scotland a, a plus for you? It's what I think of when I hear Lawrence because I feel like Lawrence's accent is quite similar to, you know, yes. fat yes. bastard. Get in my belly! That's the accent that Mike Myers was doing. Oh, so I you mean it. the get in my belly? Yeah. Thing. Well, she said that in the Meet the Queens, didn't she? You know, I don't think we watch the Meet the Queen. I don't think we watch the Meet the Queen. Really? (laughs) Get in my belly! So, another quick commercial break, and we'll be back with the choreography with Jay Ravel. I love them. This was great. I was in, I really, well, we'll get to it. We'll get to it. Be right back. Mm, I love that drink. Mm, I love that drink. Ooh. Mm. (laughs) We're back with choreography with Jay Ravel who is awesome, and the hot backup yes. dancers. Yeah. Ellie yeah. Diamond was Very. thirsting. Oh. oh my God, sorry, can we talk about the dancers? I feel like there's always one person on the on the cast who's like just really horny. They haven't had any dancers on 13 yet, but I feel that Tina would fill that that uh, character. Oh, definitely. Archetype. Tina's horny on main. That archetype if if they in fact have hot yeah. dancers on that season at some point. Yeah. <laughs> I mean, only if they're wearing red and yellow will she oh my be interested. God. Well, did you see that thing that was like, we've been reading the narrative wrong the whole time. Tina's been promoting service workers and federal employees the whole <laughs> season. <laughs> I love that. <laughs> She's been a bus driver, oh. a firefighter. They were like, how considerate. Yeah. Wow. Yeah. She's bringing the that. light to the essential workers. I was like, um, love this. <laughs> and, you know, uh, not surprising, Lawrence is having a tough time with their choreography, but everyone else seems to, well, it was, it was kind of fun and a little weird that Jay was like, how would you choreograph this? Great. It was a little weird, right? <laughs> if you were just going to carry on from there, how you would do it? Go from the beginning. Um, I don't know how I would do that. I don't know. Some people kind of had come in already with ideas of what they wanted to do. And then it was like, great, we'll work together and make that, you know, what it, the best it can be. And obviously there was choreography that everyone had to do together that they didn't get to decide. Right. Mm-hmm. But yes, it was kind of where Lawrence is like, I don't know, you're the fucking choreographer. I mean, that's what Lawrence <laughs> said. But that was the vibe, right? Where it's like, I don't know what I would do. You tell me, what the fuck? I get that, but you know, I like that Ellie was like, no girl, you know what you're doing. What would you do? You've got this. Yeah, yeah, it was very supportive. I appreciated Bim not knowing whether they should pull the tricks out. They were like, well, I could right. go into a, a front cartwheel, you know, double yeah. dip. Backspring, like, you know, brown cows. Yeah. If you can do it, why not? It's Now's the, the time. But yeah, well, I also really liked, they seemed to take a lot of time on the choreography, like in the episode. Except for Tace's edit. Well, right? Anyway, it was Where like, Tace was just like, here's the whole yes, thing. Tace was just here's like, oh, thing. this, bam, bada, bam, bada, bam, bada, boom. Nailed it. Clickety, clack, clack, done. On. Cool. Great. Yeah. <laughs> like, wait, but I wanted to see how great she was. What are we doing? Yeah. And cut to yeah. the <sighs> other scene. It was very straight. It was very obvious. I was excited to really go out there, spit those bars, and pound my puss on that floor. <laughs> the Tace sure. erasure is real. Yeah. Tace or really sure. I like that. Yeah. Yes. If only her dad was in Erasure, Erasure and not Wham. But we do have to talk about Ellie's Laura Ashley Curtin suspender pants. What's going on here? I'm just giving a little flouncy, you know, campery. I will tell you what the low of the season was for me, girl. It's those pants. Those pants. <laughs> but that's that's not a joke. It's just a fact. Oh. Not a joke. Just fact. Yeah. <laughs> No joke, just a fact. Just a fact. They were a lot. I wasn't angry at them as much as everyone else was. But like, where, who's wearing those and why? You know, but um, yeah, sure. You know, I like, I like the the bold reach of them all, but um, I don't think those would look good on Charlie's throne. You know, those those aren't looking good <laughs> no, on no, anyone. No, 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 no. She's the benchmark. Honestly, like, Charlize could rock anything. Yeah. Probably. Not these pants. Why hasn't she been a judge? Really? <gasps> yes. Can they do like a like a Mad Max challenge? Ooh, no, we've had enough like, of post-apocalyptic challenges, Andrew. That's true. I was thinking no, Snow White, but we've already had like enough hooded. We've um, also had no, enough feathered. Yeah, feathered. Had feathered. Enough of that. Yes, too much. Monster? Yes. No. Monster <laughs> no. mashup. Everyone dress up like a serial killer. I don't. Know. 
No. Cider House Rules? <laughs> was Charlize in Cider House Rules? Yes, yeah, she's like the... That was before she was Charlize, you know. Um, right. She was like right. the girlfriend wow. in it, yeah. Huh. So, a quick commercial break, and we'll be back with the performance of... God damn it, I keep wanting to call it Can You Feel the Love? A little bit of love. A little bit, a little of, bit love. of love. A little bit of love. A little bit of love. UK. She threw that in there. Right. The UK edition, because they'll market and stream it, and a, pro, a percentage could be 1%, but we don't know. We'll give them the benefit of the doubt. Goes to Comic Relief, which for a quick second I thought was just a joke. Like, <laughs> oh my god, the proceeds go to comic, comic relief, relief. But I'm... or a bit of comic but relief. No, it's an actual no, charity, it's a very serious charity. Yes, yeah. <laughs> so, Rue walks out, um, looking like a Martian from Mars Attacks, <laughs> I mean, wrapped up in a in a as a present. She was wearing a, a clown wig, it was that's all you can describe it, was it as. Crazy, she's wearing a striped and sheer dress. But you could just see her bra. Like it was just, there it is. Half of it, half a teat. What was that? We can see your undergarments and they don't match. We hate you. Listen, the world is about to end. If there was ever a time to let your freak flag f fly. Fly your freak flag. I, I did not care for this oh, look no. at all. Um, for the finale? Really, yeah. Wow. This uh, right? was. Mm. Right? Ooh. And we get both Alan and Graham. And actually, they were on the opposite side, Avril. And they were like, yeah. they were a good balancing energy to Michelle. Uh -huh. It was like, no, no, bitch. Uh-uh. <laughs> well, were they sat on the right side this time? Yeah, like, they the right, sat right yeah, the away table. from Michelle. Oh, good. They weren't getting oh, in trouble yeah. with her. <laughs> no, I've, I've enjoyed them this season. There's been a few critiques where it's like, okay, well... That didn't really add anything to the mix, but um, I really find Alan funny. I've always found Alan funny and he has a lot of uh, good lines and Graham too. So I'm not mad at them being oh, there. No. It's just sometimes the critics have been a little, you know, I think. It's a little bit like, why did they leave that in? Because I'm sure that they'd <laughs> say much. a lot of stuff to see what sticks to the wall and just kind of blah, blah, blah. But like why yeah. that was left in, I don't know. But I do enjoy both of them. Taste, I thought you were going to be horrible. <laughs> you were good. Well, that was Michelle. That was Michelle, I well, thought. Well, yeah, that, that was Michelle. She needs a vacation, I think, more than any of them. She's doing the, the whatcha packing. She's doing all of these with Rue everywhere. It's too much for her. Yeah. It's too much. I just think she hasn't gone to Wales yet. She, she's she been appreciating too much of Britain everywhere else. She needs to go to Wales and get on Tasty's level. I agree. So it's the performance of... A little bit of love. Oh, a little bit of love. A little bit of love. The UK yeah. edition. <laughs> Please include every time you get it wrong. Oh, of course. Can you feel the oh. love tonight? Tonight. That real sexy gif of Nala that always kind of weirds me out. She like yeah. lays down for him and gives him the bedroom eyes. Oh, that's right. That's every time I yeah, go, that like... seems inappropriate. I don't care for those. For me, it always just felt like that was her giving consent. Oh, good. Which is important. So I like that. It's important. It's very important. important. I like you. Especially in the like, animal okay, kingdom. I'm into this. I'm in. Yeah, you can do I it. I approve. Good. Come get it, Simba. You know, I was like, okay, she says yes. I like that. I Yes, uh, from that perspective, I like it. It still always felt like, oh, that went, took a step too far. <laughs> anyway, we can move on to the performance. Yes. And they're all coming out and doing their thing. And it was fun. I, I The dancers seemed in the background to me. I was like, why Why are they here? I never really noticed them, personally. Mm, Slightly. Interesting. I did think, because during the rehearsal, I was like, why are they carrying around PVC pipe? That's kind of weird. What's going on? And then they glowed, and I was like, oh, up. okay, I like it now. I yeah. like it now. Ooh, yeah. I mean, it's a shame, because they, they must have quarantined the dancers. Yeah. Yeah, they should have quarantined two more, maybe. So there was, mm. like, a full <laughs> set. You know, like, I don't know. Maybe. Just, they have the glow-up sticks. And the queens are all doing their intro. Oh, oh yeah. hey, it's hey. me, blah, blah, blah. Hey. And I was yeah. like, wait, why is Bimini not it, it get lip syncing right? There were a couple that had a better sync, but for the most part, they were all off. And I was like, everyone seems like they, they're not lip syncing properly. So I didn't notice the off syncness, but the mix was definitely not good. And all I could no. think when I first watched it was, maybe this will be better on the iTunes like single that comes out. I haven't listened to it yet, but... Yeah, it was a little bit, not only were the words, this is why I wanted M&EK there to sort of, because I'm not sure whether it was in the edit or the way they, 
recorded. They were told recorded. to record it because there were too many words for the beats. Yeah. My name is Ali Damana from Scotland, and I've got. Can you feel the love? It's like uh, too many words. It's Ali Lava put the D in diamond. These girls can't reach me even if they try it. Straight to the top because the top's the roof. Clearly, a lot of people didn't understand what was said. No. Well, and so first off was Bimini Bamboulash, and I I don't know what she said. I don't know. I was distracted about... by her outfit. Oh my God. This cone boot, yeah. Madonna. It was like stripper, Elle Woods, you know, uh, kind of, but like more edgy. And then maybe like a little Christina Aguilera in there. I don't know. She was looking good. I was That's into sure. it. Yeah, I was into it. I was fully on board for this. I mean, I thought the performance was good. I just thought that the lyrics were inaudible. They must have had like a readout or something because Michelle was like, oh, well, your lyrics talked about this and this. And, right. and I thought that was really great. And I was like, what the fuck is she talking about? I have she no clue. Clearly she clearly had an iPad there. She clearly had an iPad. It's like, oh, stunting looks, serving pretty. Yeah, I yeah. remember when you said <laughs> that. That was gold. So next up, Ellie Diamond. And I did not like this look. These ruffled arms. She looked like Rosé. She looked like Rosé. Hi, is this giant ruffling texture flattering? <laughs> no, it isn't. It's not a good look for, I, I don't know why this is a thing. There was a funny compilation that someone put together of um, Rosé dancing in the background of all of the lip syncs of the season so far. <laughs> And every time she's just dancing, dancing, dancing. But I was looking at some of those looks again and I was like, wow, you are really swallowed up in that look, girl. Oh, yeah. <laughs> but when Tina and her anyway. got paired together to switch outfits, I was like, ooh, ooh, ah. <laughs> <laughs> but anyway, yes, I did not care for this look. Although the wig and the face, like they said. Always. Always. Mm -hmm. She is, I mean. From the jump. The skill, talent above and beyond. She hasn't been called out on her makeup, has she, this season? It's always been good. I it's think it's been, been pretty unimpeachable. For me, what was frustrating was that it took until the finale for Graham or Alan to say, well, Michelle, I disagree. I find that, you know, and Michelle's like, look, she stepped out of her. Look, she had the, and they she showed like a side a by side. Like, but it's the look. same silhouette. Well, that's seagull. That was the outlier. I still am scarred. That was she <laughs> had heels in a web foot. That was everything. <laughs> oh my God. Allegedly. Oh my God. That was fucking shoes. Ginny Lemon's fish shoes. Oh no, we can't yeah, talk about it talk yet. About. I'm too excited. We can't talk about it yet. Uh, Ellie Diamond, I thought this was good. Yeah. Again, it was harder to understand most of it. It felt rushed. Mm -hmm. Like not on her part necessarily. Yes. Just it no, felt just... rushed. I wrote yeah. down like, that yeah. was cute. Okay, and then it was over. You know, I didn't, I don't know. Yeah. I think the frustrating thing is because we've seen like uh, the United King dolls, like we know there can be a really good performance yeah. made out of it. And it was just a missed opportunity. That I think that was the main frustration from everyone. It was just that if the mix was a little bit better and the lyricism was a little tighter, could have been something really special, but. Yeah. Yeah. I'm also hey, gonna home. go ahead and say it though. Mm -hmm. I don't think a lot of these Rue songs are good. <laughs> You mean you don't stream a little bit of love every day? No, he's no. listening to Can You and, Feel and the Love Tonight. That's interesting, though. That's what he's listening to. Can you feel... I mean, I would watch it. Like, <laughs> but there hasn't been a really catchy one for a while where I'm like, ooh, yeah, I want to listen to that jam. And I think they often are so repetitive, especially when they remove the ver And it's like, okay, you got to cram so much in. And we've heard it the entire season, every episode yeah, of the, the whole runway. Season. So you're like, yes. okay. I did find it a little strange that they used the finale song as the runway song, like the song we've been hearing all season. It was a little uh, uninspired. Yeah. So. Well, you're like, I've heard this a million times now, but I feel like that's what they've done. Like I wasn't like um, when Sharon Needles and they were like, they did the music video and yeah. that was the Glamazon. same song that we'd been hearing. Glamazon. Yeah, well, I think the Glamazon. difference is, you know, that song was good. <laughs> that song was more fun. And also, though, a really big difference was that, one, I don't think they had to write a, a verse for that. And two, no, they didn't have they did. to perform it and dance it. They were doing a music video where they were being directed. And so that is interesting. I think my favorite ones of these have been the All-Stars Live. Two and three? The live one. Oh, PB's. you mean when, the big performance where they just do it all in one? It was King When you be behind the when desk. The, yeah, BB, you know. Live, yeah. BB mirror, at rest. mirror on the wall. Who's the fiercest <laughs> of them all? Of them that all. was good. Like, I enjoyed like, that. They should really do that again. Like a live, another live number. 
Yeah. That was fun. At least, I mean, for all stars, you know, sure, like those are, they should be able to do a one or performance and whatever. Like that's impressive. And I think it mm-hmm. was. Or a music but, video. Um, they haven't done a music video in a while. I love doing the music videos for these and do a music video where they have to write a verse. That's fine. So next up was Lawrence. Yep. Lawrence next Cheney. up was Lawrence. Yeah, it was Lawrence Cheney. Cheney! <laughs> and I thought Lawrence's was one of the more successful because he said less. Hang your hand, who's that? It's me, the myth, the legend, Lawrence Cheney. It was yeah. just slower. It was more audible. I mean, for the fact that Lawrence Cheney with the thickest accent was- has the most you know, yeah. coherently easy to hear verse, it says something because you're like, well, that's a problem for everyone else. I did uh, enjoy that Lawrence was dressed like a jazzy devil. I was into that. Like, it was like a little <laughs> yeah. Liza Minnelli number. <laughs> Liza, we're going to be late for cats. Sorry. We're going to be late for cats. It had to come out. It had to come out. Baby, we're going to miss the show. Don't make those little kiddos wait. We're going to be late for cats. Will a fancy neck do it? Will a fussy neck do it? How do you work this little thing you might do? <laughs> the little doodad off? Oh, is it yeah, a foot tap? <laughs> oh, but then next out and last out, taste. You crown me, baby, it's the lip sync assassin. Who me like this? Yes, that's my taste, 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 taste. I think this is the best performance because it just had the yes. most, like, right out of the gate energy. Uh, energy. When yeah. she, like, spun around and fell into that, I, I don't even, I, I'm not a dancer, I can't use words, yeah. but when she fell into that gracefully, oh my God, it was so well, fast. We got some macaroni in the pot, WAP choreography. Oh my God. We got all sorts of stuff going on. I thought it was Baked great. Baked beans in the pot. A big beans in the pot. I love that. Oh my God, she should do that. That'd be a great she parody. Should. Going back to Lawrence real quick. I will say I was disappointed in the choreography because when we saw the rehearsal, it was like more fun, right? Oh, hi, hey, huns, how you doing? Whatever. Hey, babes. And there then- There was more attitude. There was more attitude. There was, oh, I'm running. Oh, I'm... <sighs> you know, like there was more comedy to it. And I was like, that's the Lawrence that we love. Like that's what you want Lawrence to deliver is I can't dance but I'm hilarious and charismatic and isn't that fun. Can't sing or dance, but I'm still witty, yeah. Exactly. I thought it was funnier in the the rehearsal than it was in the actual performance. Yeah, I'd agree with that. But taste in this Oh my God, taste body suit, look, this outfit. It's David Bowie hair. Oh, this David Bowie you recognize. Okay. <laughs> okay. It wasn't screaming Bowie to me. I'm going to be completely honest. When it suits. Yeah. Uh, but I did think that Tace actually did give them... <laughs> I broke Andrew. <laughs> uh, yeah, sorry, what? But I did think that Tace really did give the best performance of, like, not great across yeah. the board. You know, there was there was flaws, I think, in production across the board. Then all the... Suddenly there's more people behind them, and is that Tien? Oh, my God. Oh, I'm so excited! Oh, it was very exciting. Yeah, it was a moment. It was, it was really good um, to see them all out. Veronica clearly missed the memo. Yeah, they called her last minute. That was the, the surprise. I was like, oh, and Veronica's even there. Oh, my God. But yes, everyone was in red, and then <laughs> Veronica was just bathed. Maybe she did get the memo. Sure. No. Oh. So another quick commercial break, and we'll be back with the runway. Category is final for eleganza, extravaganza. Something like yep. that. Always, always. Yeah, it's always just yeah. <sighs> elegant. <laughs> Eloquent. <laughs> Eloquent. Eloquent. What is that from? From Eloquent. SNL. SNL. Elegance. <gasps> Luxury. Savasky crystals. No, Michelle as well. It might be a oh, New Jersey thing. Oh, a Jersey thing? Ish, because that SNL skit, they're like Jersey, you know. Yeah. It's eloquent. So Swarovski, maybe that's the eloquent. Yeah, so maybe. Michelle is a certified Brit now, right? Oh, but... I mean, yeah, certified Brit. No one more British than Michelle Visage. <laughs> Has she had beans close. on toast? Oh my God. I would that's like a to good know. Question. All this talk about beans, beans on toast. Yeah, if is not. Is that the new raw cacao? Is it? Is it 100%? cocoa bean or whatever it's now have you had beans on toast have you had beans on toast yeah oh the, the raw co- the coffee bean the coffee yeah, bean we can't we can't coffee we can't claim her as british unless she's had beans on toast exactly. that's very no. true <laughs> 
So, yes, first on the runway, bimnibumboolish. Bimnibumboolish. Bridal lingerie uh, number looking snatched. Yeah. Stunning, yes. yeah. And I never realized because they mentioned the last in a runway show is always a bridal look. Yeah, right. And I thought I that like tied it all together for me. I thought that was really smart. That was the thoughtfulness that we've seen in Bimini's looks all season. Mm. Oh, I'm going to approach this with an intent, with a, a different perspective or like a a specific and unique take. And that's what I've loved about Bimini's runways. Bimini's face was maybe the most oh, beautiful we've gorgeous. ever seen. I mean, and this wig was yeah. so fun. I don't know, people give her a lot of shit for her wigs. I like them. I think they're fun and different. Yeah. Uh, it's like a duck. I've had no issue. Like yeah. a duck bill on top and a little flip on the bottom. I was into it. It was cool. I, th I mean, no one was reading this wig. No, but uh, you know they've they've read her wigs I, in the past where I didn't have an issue. Yes. I'm like, well, I think that's right. what she was going for, but okay. <laughs> I did agree with the panties. They did stick out. The yeah. fabric was obviously shiny and made her right. tuck look meaty when maybe it wasn't. It, it didn't look at the same level as everything else. And even if it was maybe, oh, they should have been stoned or they should have been... Lacy. Satin or whatever it was that they needed to be to blend in more would have been helpful. But I didn't, like, it didn't ruin it for me. No. But I do agree that they could have been elevated. Next down the runway was Ellie Diamond. Uh, I thought this was a really beautiful look. Um, yeah. Big flowing dress. Uh, and it was a really nice shot when she, I, I might be making this up, but she, like, collapsed it onto the runway, like, when she came onto yeah. the end of the runway. Curtsy. Curtsy. Yes, we'll use that. Curtsy. You're British. Yes. Beans on toast. What? <laughs> I like that this was all the same palette. It really worked where the mm -hmm. her wig was pale pink, her makeup was muted, the dress was pale pink. It looked really good all together. Uh, it did look like one of those Barbie birthday cakes. I always uh, tend to have an issue with the hoop when it's just not the length of the skirt. Like you can see yep. the line. It is a tiny thing. Maybe my favorite Ellie Diamond look because it was just Ellie Diamond at the finale. It was very, right? uh, which was so weird to me that Michelle was like, well, this is different, or I wouldn't say this was Ellie Diamond. And Graham was like, this is exactly, because I was just like, this is exactly, yeah. she came out. And I was like, oh, that's Beautiful. what Ellie Diamond would wear to the finale. Lovely, gorgeous, makeup, stunning, hair, yes. I do love that they always get her references wrong, though. They're like, we love this Marie Antoinette. And she's like, I was going for Glinda. Um... And then when she was going for Marie Antoinette, they were like, we love this gold, uh, whatever they called it, something, the pirate wench right, or whatever. whatever. And she's like, I was going for Marie Antoinette. Mm. At least it wasn't. I was going for a sort of France Jolie. You mean France Jolie? <laughs> Do you remember that? I'm still, that was a mess. I'm still mad about it. Maybe if Ellie had had striped stockings and ruby red slippers, that could have been really cute to really like. That I can't think of ruby red without thinking ruby is red hot <laughs> oh no <laughs> oh i forgot about that i haven't finished that oh. season but i've been watching it You're it, fine. it is a ride yeah it's something. yeah no i i figured i was watching your review i figured i was fine not finishing it yeah, yeah. so then next on the runway lawrence cheney lawrence cheney <laughs> lawrence cheney in this purple racing, this was also very Lawrence Cheney. I was yeah. like, that's silhouette. I know that's Chile you watch anywhere. You know, it's very <laughs> that. I really liked this. I thought, you know, like the stone checkerboard or checker flag and all of that stuff. The details were there. I just don't know if I would call this eleganza. This belt was awful. The belt roof. <laughs> this white belt that looked so added on, was too wide. It was white. It was, uh, burn this belt. Sure. Burn the belt. But I really like the rest of the look. <laughs> Burn this belt. I enjoyed the look. Um, I don't really remember the belt, but um, the earrings were great. Oh, obsessed. Yeah. Oh, the Rupita badge earrings. Rupita just showing it off. I love the palette. Her wig was great, black and purple. Yes. Just go back and look at that belt and you'll be like, oh yeah, I should have taken it off. I did appreciate them noticing that um, as she got more confident, she got curvier. I love like, it. Yes! <laughs> This was like eleganza racer. Of uh, that, for sure. Except yeah, for the belt. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But we can move on. It was like everyone had one thing wrong. It was like Bimini's <laughs> underwear, Pinch. Ellie's hoop skirt, the oh, belt. No. The fact that Tase's ankles weren't stoned in the heels. It's fine. We'll get to it. How do you notice this stuff? I swear we like... We watched the same show, like... right? <laughs> I know. I know. 
I think we identify different things. I'm like, yeah. did you notice that audio blip at 34 minutes in? And you're like, did you notice those stoned ankles? I'm like, no, I was too busy thinking about the blip at 34 minutes. But speaking of, Last Out is taste. Mm. I loved this. I taste, don't know. Taste, 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 was taste, that, taste, was taste. I completely off? They seem to not like this. And I thought this was great. Did you notice that this was her promo look in black? Oh, we didn't, oh. See, we didn't see the promo, so. You didn't no, see the promo look? <laughs> I'm like a sexy owl, here to come down and peck your face away with my claws. Peck, peck, peck. Uh, they all dressed as different colors of the uh, pride flag. Oh, okay. And uh, she oh, was fun. white. But uh, this was essentially, this was the same outfit in black. Oh, okay, well. Is there you white know, in the pi pride flag? I think everyone did every other aspect color of the flag. That was the so one that was left white over. Was the only, yes, yes. Okay. <laughs> and Obviously, white. Ginny had yellow, Cherry had red. Uh, Ellie had pink, Veronica had green. It was very, yeah, this, some people have colors. This is really working out, but, yeah. Um, <laughs> but you'll see, in, in, it's like in, clue. include the picture, because it, okay. um, it, it's uh, almost identical. And I think oh, okay. that sort of, it dampened the eleganza thing of it for me, because I'd seen it and I recognized it, but she still looked beautiful to me. The weave and yeah. the makeup, the face. I mean, I don't think she's looked more beautiful. I was really into oh. it. I, I didn't see the promo look, but I liked this 20s, you know, cat suit. And it's all stone and she's got little pieces of boa all over her. I, I liked it. They were more like fur pelts, but yes. I liked this. I thought she looked beautiful. Did I think that this was a finale look? Not necessarily. But this weave. Oh, well, I mean, just like, yes, the pure... The face and the tood and the work in the runway, everything about that was eleganza. I just, mm -hmm. we've seen more stunning looks from Tace. I think even like the dragon look, right, was yeah. so wow. This Welsh dragon right here, give it to me. Got steam coming out my nose, by the way. I feel like Tace could have wowed us more, but yeah. I still thought this was beautiful. She should have just walked down the runway in that, in that green motorcycle outfit with the weave. I mean, honestly though. <laughs> Put a wig on it. Put a wig great on jacket. Put a wig on it. Sure. Yes. Yeah. And then she like turns around and she's like, I'm going to eat up the competition. Munch, munch, munch. <laughs> munch, munch, Bobby crunch, beans. crunch. Yeah, yeah, very that. So yes, Rue brings back, I mean, I guess we've done it. It's just a mainstay now. Rue asks everyone to talk to their younger self. I think this was also where Tace was like, hey girl, you're fabulous. Hey, I love you. Make yes. sure to fix your eyebrows though. <laughs> and Rue was like, no, you have to be you know, serious and talk trauma. about your own emotional trauma. What do you have to say to six-year-old Tace? Well, Tace, love the outfit, girl. You are looking fabulous. Yes. I was and having I'm a like, great time. Well, I was like, yeah, Tace, yes. I love that you <laughs> asked your neighbor for this wig and then wore it to McDonald's yes. and was like unapologetic about it. Yes. What frustrates me about that is that it's like, Rue is so focused on the one side of like, oh, well, I have to say, don't worry, it's gonna get better. When it's like, well, you have a great role model here with Tace. Like obviously, you know, Tace's parents were, were wonderful and supportive. What a great role model of being like, you be you, you be brash and unapologetic and don't yeah. take no for an answer and wear well, and that fucking wig to McDonald's and work it, bitch. And a note to any parents watching, hey, yes. look how fabulous and well-adjusted Tace is. I found that they to be annoying. Of, they kind of covered that a little bit, um, I think. Uh, some point in the episode, maybe it was earlier in the episode, I had a really good upbringing and that's why that's I That's when Rue was maybe on Xanax during the Tic Tac lunch. <laughs> uh, okay, I see. Maybe I was on Xanax too. I was forgetting which part it was. No trauma detected. I did... <laughs> I did cackle at Lawrence's little picture because... Oh my God. Well, it was weird because everyone else it was, was like Lawrence. baby, baby, and he was ten, but looked like Lawrence now. Yeah. I mean, it was crazy. Yes. <laughs> Two-year-old Ellie, ten-year-old ten -year Lawrence, Lawrence looks exactly like Lawrence. <laughs> uh, Rue asked everyone, "Well, why should you win?" I don't know if I need both of these. Maybe one or the other. I don't think I need "Why should you win." We're past that point, I think. You know, season three, it was great. Yeah. Season. 23, I think we're cool. We know what everyone's gonna say. I wanna be a beacon. I wanna, yeah. like, we know what the show does. We know why they're here, Rue. It's cool. But anyway, they all gave a nice answer. It was lovely. Moving on, they go backstage. Ginny Lemon, I wanna talk about it. Ginny Lemon's trout slippers. It's all I wanna <laughs> talk about. Oh, you didn't want me wearing a little heel? I'm wearing flats. I think they tweeted it was like, and the winner is dot dot dot. And it was just a picture of, the, the fish. The, shoes. 
Yes. I love that, it. That was the winner. As it should be. Yes. I love this granny. You know, again, she's dressed like Maude from Harold and Maude. You know, with these big yeah. yellow glasses. And I ah, love it. Love Ginny. That was a great edit, by the way. <laughs> that face. <laughs> She was back for revenge. Like she was. I did enjoy the sound effect. <laughs> she... Oh my yeah, god, that was good. Oh wait, wait. Where was the pussy? When was the pussy? Um... Yeah, there was a effect. pussy sound effect, wasn't there? It's excited to really go out there, spit those bars, and pound my puss on that floor. <laughs> like this. <laughs> I can't wait to mop. Oh my god. Oh, love taste. Love tastes so much. You bunch. guys were right about the uh, the the editors pushing the buttons because they were still on it yes. this episode. They were pushing the right yes. button. Yeah, I really enjoyed this segment a lot. Uh, Cherry Valentine. I haven't been here for much this season. No choice of mine. So <laughs> yeah. made me laugh a lot. What have been the gags? Uh, well, Jenny can get up and start. <laughs> <laughs> Just walking off. And then a horror. Yeah. Coming in hot. One gag of the season was definitely Miss Diamond's running order. <laughs> Also, though, can we talk about Ahura and this something about Mary Wig? Oh, I was like, it's like Judy Jetson. But yes, a combination of the two. I was into it. It was like someone just in her hair. Maybe Tace. No. But... Just throwing her spidey webs. Yeah. <laughs> her spidey webs! That's right. Um, Ahura's <laughs> outfit, like the color palette and the extravagance of it all was really giving me Troop Beverly Hills. Not in a like a specific reference way, but just like, would Phyllis Neffler wear this? Yes. <laughs> <laughs> and I appreciated that. I was kind of bummed. I felt like it was, I mean, I guess they didn't have time, but I felt like it was a missed opportunity. They had the whole thing, you know, cause they talked to Veronica Green about how right. you know, she couldn't come back. And I thought that was nice. And everyone was very complimentary. Wear a mask, stay safe, stop the spread <laughs> and save <laughs> lives. <laughs> girly, girly, girlies. I haven't actually been around much of the season. Then they had Cherry Valentine being like, well, I wasn't here that long, blah, blah, blah. But they didn't talk about how Cherry's been a nurse through the whole lockdown and everything. Right. I was like, that would have been an, a nice, easy way to be like, well, speaking of masking and keeping people safe, Thank you, Cherry, but no, no one did. But anyway, that's thank great. You, Cherry. That's a great point, to be fair. Yeah. I feel like this in Tux, I was really enjoying this on Tux segment. I feel like this could have gone on yeah. a bit longer and something else could have been taken out somewhere else. Why like, should no, I why win? Should we... I yeah, 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 who cares? Yeah. Exactly. Um, but like, we didn't hear Estina talk in the on no. I would have no. liked to hear more from Estina. Uh, there's someone else we didn't hear talk. Um, Do you remember who it was? Joe didn't, didn't talk, talk much. I mean, Joe might Joe, have said yeah, one thing. Joe, and she looked incredible. Like, oh, yes. Joe's oh headpiece was incredible. Joe's yeah. Peter Pan pirate ship headpiece with this Elizabethan. Yes. Like, fuck. It's so good. And again, Glenn Close, hook, pirate. <laughs> You've done the math. Good. We didn't talk about Veronica's look, though. I mean, she was like Robin Sailor Moon. I thought this was cute and fun and took me back to middle school. I have to say, I do enjoy the times of Drag Race when the girls get to showcase the looks, but they're not in a competition aspect. Then I really do, you know, just enjoy it for what they wanted to wear and bring. Yeah. Because yes. it seemed like they're less restricted almost. It's not like, oh, did it fit um, the category? How did it stack up against someone? It's just like, oh, look at this look. Well, and then sister in this, uh, you know, mommy dearest, bring me the ax look, but then with the blue mouth, as if to like double down on the the whole. I didn't get it. I didn't get it. But... Did she wear the blue mouth again? I don't even remember. <laughs> yes. Um, yeah. And Estina in this sort of her the top it was like giving me Janelle Monet with this like color blocked black and Ooh. white something about that. Sure. Yeah. Head um liked it a lot. She didn't say anything. Yeah. Or they didn't let her. Just because two of the queens hadn't spoken, it was it just felt like okay well. Nearly everyone had said something. You could have at least just given them something, but I guess not. Something. Right. I, we probably could have had less choreography, less, you know, why do you think you should win, and more of the queens being fun. That's always my choice, but, you know. You'd think if fine. they sped that track up so fast, we would have had more time. <laughs> yeah. It was like bye-bye birdie, right? Someone gave the conductor a, a <laughs> speed. I don't know. Oh, my God. Can we talk about Tia? We haven't talked about Tia. <gasps> oh. We have to talk about Tia. So obsessed. I love this look. I loved it. Yeah. I thought Tia really showed off her bot, her famous body. Um, oh my God. With this, you know, like African print and the the big scarf in her hair. And she had 
big hair. I thought she looked gorgeous. I was really excited for Tia. It almost seemed like Tory Burch vibes or something to me. But like, yeah. yes, I boho. Chic, I was enjoying it. You know, kind of. Yeah. I wasn't obsessed with the ruffled gloves. Another detail that is just. I just saw a dress. It's like elbow <laughs> gloves, but then they had like ruffles on one side. It wasn't my favorite. Speaking of asymmetry, though, I would like to talk about when they were all standing in the back. Anahora has this one oh. big green boot and this one big green sleeve. It kind of looked like she was in a car accident and, and that she had like a green cast here and a green cast Just here. Just in traction. Yeah. <laughs> When they showed them all in the back, it was like, Cherry Valentine, <laughs> Lemon, Joe Black. And she looked like, you know, the little person in Don't Look Now, like a little in the red hood, just like, eh. oh, you guys haven't seen that movie. It looked like that. Because <laughs> sister looked short too. And I was like, are Ginny and sister like literally on their knees? This is insane how much of a difference it is. <laughs> I think it was yeah. two tears, yes. I did like that it was a, just sort of a throwaway shot of Tia, just sort of umming and ahhing when Ginny was boasting about leaving the show. Ginny Lemon is a fucking icon and everyone in the world just has to deal with it, basically. <laughs> That's what was going through my head. I thought that was a good way of like having that conversation without having to have the conversation. It was just like, cool, we got it. There's, there's contention still. I did laugh when they were like, you know, Estina, duh, they're all coming out. Ginny Lemon, she just like walks by. <laughs> oh my God. Oh, yes. <laughs> It's great though. With that walk of hers. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> and then Cherry Valentine, a big red sequined shoulder number. <laughs> I yeah. couldn't get yeah. a lot of details out of it. I liked this. It was a lot of, it was like, ooh, wow, yes, ooh. But I don't know if I could tell you much of a story about it or anything else. It was just kind of like, drag queens, love that. It was what I'd expect from a Cherry Valentine look. I thought it was refined. I thought it was good. Um, I've got nothing to say. I really like Cherry Valentine. I really like I Cherry really like Cherry. I just couldn't tell you a, a, a three-part story about her look. That was it. You know? Yeah. I just think she deserved more this season, like, full stop. I really do. I do, too. I feel like she should have gone further. Um, like, she brought in the confessionals. I just really yeah. like Cherry Valentine. I like the whole cast. So hopefully, this hopefully tough. We'll see more. I know. It's such a strong cast. She came out first and I was like, well, she didn't go home first. I mean, obviously Joe, they moved to like the middle because Joe came back again. Oh, I didn't know. But that. yeah, well, because I was like, wait, who went? I, I couldn't believe that Cherry went home first. I felt like we'd had more time, but I guess not. It just really stuck. But but all of them. And then I was like, well, but Estina shouldn't have gone home that early either. And it was like everyone, I was everyone. like, but they should have had, it was just a great cast. You were like, well, they should have had more time. So another quick commercial break and we'll be back with the final three. I guess. And a lip sync and, and all sorts of stuff and a crowning of, of a winner. Everything. Devil horns? What was the devil? There's a moose? Um, a no, moose? it was the crown. It was, it was the crown. There's a moose. Oh, a moose. moose. A moose. Uh, oh, I went to wet hot. Moose as in. No, it moose for your hair. Right, right. <laughs> but yeah, so everyone walks out and then the top four walk out again. Rue is, uh, you know, please step forward if I call your name. Tace. Right. And I was like, oh no. And then Bimini. Uh, and I said, holy oh, shit, no way they're going to have oh, that yes. be the top two. I'm so excited. And Lawrence. And then Ellie, go to the back. You're, we don't know why we kept you for, uh, wow, that was rude, I thought. <laughs> Ellie Diamond, you are adored but this is not your time. It was so rude. I did rude. think that was weird. Yeah. Especially because, first of all, make a fucking decision, Rue. Give me a two-way lip sync. I don't need a three-way lip sync. Yeah. You know what you're thinking. If, if, if you're just all ready to crown Lawrence, then say Lawrence and whoever, you know, pick one. From the performances and then from the runway, I was like, I think Taste had the best performance and then Bimini probably close second. And so I was ready for it to be a two-way lip sync. And then there was like Lawrence, and I was like, well, that's just rude to Ellie. What are we doing? Fuck it up. And then it's a, a three-way lip sync, not, not a fan, to yeah. I'm still standing in the mono radio edit. Did this sound awful to you? It was so like, um, had no bass and just sounded like tinny. Oh. And I thought it sounded low and just like, eh. Like the 
whatever. Well, the sound mix these. this episode seems to have been a mess. So maybe that's just chalk <laughs> yeah. up to that. I do wonder if there's some sort of unspoken rule now about male lip syncs for a finale for UK. Because it is the second year yeah. we've had a male oh, lip sync yeah. for the finale. It was Wham last year, was yeah. it? Yeah. Oh, yeah. man. That would have they been. They couldn't yeah. do Wham this year. That'd be an unfair advantage. I just don't think this was the Elton John song to do for the finale lip sync. Oh, really? I thought this was a great lip sync song. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> I thought, see, that's so funny. I thought it was a good, it had energy, it had a fun dance break, it wasn't too repetitive. I mean, I think the three-way lip sync was, a, of course, a, a mess because it's just a cluttered disaster. But I thought Taste killed it. Oh, Taste, I was just, I mean, like, living. I, I, they did a good job with the song. Of all the Elton John songs you could pick, this just isn't the most, you know, fuck yeah, ballady, you know, that they could have done. But it's not I, a ballad. I w- it's a fun, pumped up, energetic song. I'm still standing. Yeah, yeah, do, yeah. do. And she's doing the, the legs and oh, when she was, doing was fucking that Russian, rocking out. When she was oh doing my that Russian, God, yes. The platform heels. In heels as well. I have to tell you, I was in full Bimini is winning mode. And especially I was watching the lip sync and I was like, she's getting all the sound effects. She's definitely yeah, winning this. she's getting the and close-ups, then, all no. of it. I thought Taste and Bimini were the top lip syncers of the three-way lip sync, but you know, it's I mean, RuPaul's show. They were all great queens. <laughs> it's not like Lawrence didn't deserve to win. You know? Absolutely not. I no. wouldn't have yeah. picked it that way, but it's not my show. And so that's fine. You know, and there's other stuff that we m- might not have seen along the way. Who's to say? But I, you know, I don't want it to seem like Lawrence w- didn't deserve to be up there or to win. No, no, no. I didn't expect this to happen because I was Team Bimini going in, and by the end of this episode, I was a hundred percent Team Taste. I was like, she nailed this episode. She killed the performance. She looked great. She killed this lip sync. She is a lip sync serial killer. Yes. I was obsessed. I was just like living a hundred and ten percent. For Tace. She did it. She pulled it out. Good for her. Did you think Tace was going to win after the lip sync? Did you think she had a chance? I honestly was like, yes, give it to Tace. She wow. should win. She won this lip sync. She won this episode. She still had three. Didn't she have three just like Lawrence did? No, she had one. No, she's had one win. <laughs> one had one group win. win. I was going to uh, say, I feel like it was too, na- too naive she was in the to bottom think she would win time, based on that lip sync. Yes, yeah, it, was, but- it was rather naive, Andrew. It's very naive. <laughs> they should. But they I should guess really I just thought merit. she's been doing so much better than they, like. I didn't think she deserved to be in the bottom for most of those. Yes. No, I agree. I love Taze. I thought Taze was fantastic. And if we're looking at this episode singularly, I think Taze won right. this episode. Perhaps with yeah. Bimini in a very close second. You know, like nitpicky runway stuff. But I will say this: my mom thrilled that Lawrence won. She was thrilled. Yeah. She was so excited. I figured she would be, yeah. In the viewing party, I was like, oh yeah, that makes sense. And my mom was like, yay, I'm so excited. Lawrence Cheney. Oh. I was right. I was right. Wow. I can't wait to see the two of ours juxtaposed because it's literally me and Brian going, oh. <laughs> that was my reaction. I don't want to take away from Lawrence Car- I'm happy she no. won but I was in full Bimini mode and uh, I have to admit I was the same last year with Davina um, yes me too I fully thought Davina was going to walk away with it and then when Viv was announced it was like oh I mean that's I forgot fine. that Davina just... didn't win <laughs> <laughs> I just in my mind I like, and then Davina won. won yeah I did love that Tace uh, brought out the you know Molly Ringwald prerequisite Breakfast Club 80s dance Halfway through the lip sync, I enjoyed that. <laughs> I, I'm surprised that you disliked the, and not disliked, but like, I thought this was a great lip sync. Perhaps it was also that I thought the sound, the song literally sounded like low coming out of one speaker mm-hmm. and was like strangely in a different room. So that w- potentially has a factor. <laughs> yeah, maybe. Maybe they had to turn it down for Rue's hearing. They had to turn it down for Rue. I think you could turn it down a scotch. Sorry, it's a little too loud. I'm 300 years old. I, I need to turn it down. But Lawrence is our winner, and I'm excited. She brought it yeah. home for Scotland! First Scottish winner, first plus size yeah. winner. That yep. is something yeah. to celebrate. Yes. So. That is, absolutely. And I love Lawrence. I love Lawrence. Yes. Lawrence Cheney. Cheney! <laughs>
I want all of them to have TV shows, to be honest, or some sort of fun, fabulous thing. Like, yes. Give a show to Ginny Lemon's Fish Slippers. I'll watch it. <laughs> I feel like they're really missing out on a lot of opportunities with the cast they have though. Like real talk, like World of Wonder have this amazing plethora of queens that they are just not using to their full advantage. A what? A plethora. I think they could take a page from, now this is gonna sound crazy, but from Disney, you ever, have you ever watched WandaVision? I've watched half no. of it. Well, so there's a lot of stuff that people just know uh, is going on behind the scenes. Like the cat, like there's two Quicksilvers that were cast because of X Men, and X Men wasn't owned by Disney. Like there's there's stuff going on that's happening in the world that the show then addresses in a fun sort of like we know this is actually happening. Like they're not trying to be like no, we're shying away from this. And I think that they could use a little yeah. bit of like read the room, read the fan base. Like what yeah. do we love about this queen? Give them a show that involves this. Listen, pay attention, maybe address the toxic fan base. You know, stuff like that. Stuff that could be helpful. Stuff like that. Stuff like that there. Yeah, so they all win a QBE, a Queen of British Eleganza Award, which I guess is a take on QBE. No, take on MBE, which is, oh. you haven't heard of MBE, um, have you? An no. award of British excellence, I'm assuming? Something like that, yeah. Oh, I thought you were gonna pull one out. I thought you were gonna be like, here's mine. I actually won one the other week. <laughs> For excellence in the drag race field, no. I feel like we didn't even need to include that segment. They were already in the top four. They're already getting plastic given to them instead of money. It's fine. Were they just it's, painted with well, Peter badges in a different color? No, 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 you saw them. They had jewels and they had a horrifying image of Rue with those teeth. Really? I don't remember that. Please include the shot. It was horrifying to me <laughs> it was like jeweled on the outside and then you know i'm assuming it's supposed to be like the queen there's must be an award in real life that's like the queen's portrait but rue's teeth each one <laughs> was individual so it looked like a horrifying i mean we'll put it up it was terrifying yeah. oh i, I thought I you said was... we were gonna we we're gonna put up a confessional of sister sister <gasps> new face new, new face new, new, new hair New tea? Who dis? Yeah. You get in the Great. Thames! You get in the Thames! She'd lose her teeth if she jumped in the Thames anyway. <laughs> Love this cast. I really enjoyed this whole season. Cheers. Cheers to season two. Cheers. Oh! Yes! And cheers to Lee. Which Thanks for joining we? us. Uh -oh. Thank you so much for having me. Yes, you, here you'll go side to side. We'll just hold those up and then you There's can... There's gonna be a lot yeah. of pottery. Yay. There's gonna be no pottery hey. left oh in this studio. I said no!